Hi, in this video I'd like to talk about springtails, the quintessential animal that all bioactive setups and terrariums need to have, in fact must have. Springtails come in many shapes, sizes and colours, but the one we're interested in is the temperate white. That's the most common one that you'll find in reptile stores, terrarium shops and online. And that's the one that most people put in their vivariums, terrariums, insectariums, etc, etc. And the reason why you do this is because their favourite food is mould. Mould, fungus, algae and decaying matter. And they're all the things that we don't want in our bioactive setup. Sometimes scientists get bored and they start messing around with things. You might have thought that springtails are an insect and indeed there was till not so long ago. And then one board scientist decided that was going to be now called hexapods. Which is pretty much the same thing as an insect, only different. Now you may think keeping and breeding and caring for these tiny little hexapods might be difficult, but it's anything but. In fact, after you've got your first culture, you really don't have to ever buy them again. Now, the simple way to do this is with Tupperware and some charcoal. Now, if you're English, you've probably got loads of charcoal left because we buy a great big bag of it every summer and then anticipating a barbecue, we have one and end up with three quarters of the bag of charcoal with nothing to do with it. But now you have you're going to grow some springtails. Problem with lump charcoal, and you've got to make sure it is lump charcoal and not the stuff that's got the diesel or whatever mixed in with it. Give it a good sniff, check the side of the bag, it should tell you. Now, what we've got to do is get this into reasonable sized pieces. So I'm going to whack this with an hammer, make sure it's in the cloth because the dust that comes off it is called carbon black and it's not very nice. You get covered in it and it's terrible for your lungs. After breaking it up to a reasonable size, I tend to wash it. I soak it for a little while and then float all the dust off it so I end up with a nice piece of charcoal that I can actually touch without getting covered in that black, horrible dust. And here it is. We chopped up earlier after soaking. And what I'm going to do now is take one of these jelly cups and I'll place some charcoal in here. A little bit maybe. I'm sure there was a little bit. Obviously not. Right. There it is. After that, I'm going to pour about halfway. I'm not going to cover it completely. And this is rain water or deionized water. It doesn't really matter if you're from the UK. You can use tap water because our water is pretty cool. Uh, and then we're going to get our original springtail colony and we're simply going to pour some of these little guys in to here you might see them going in I don't know if you can and then put the top on quick because they can jump and that's the reason why they call springtails now I've probably put too much water in here but you get the gist there's not many springtails in there right now but there's possibly enough now this is yeast. Now you can use a couple of grains of rice but I like to use the, the yeast to start them off with because that will grow nice and furry and they will love it. So we pop the top on and then come back in a month and that should be crawling with springtails similar to this one is and that's how you have it. Once you've got your springtail colonies, as I have here, these tiny little ones, these, these will do for uh, one terrarium, which is great, and I can just go back and get another one. So what I'll do is use one, then make a new one, and put that at the bottom of the pile, and then 
I've always got springtails ready to rock and roll whenever I need them. I feed them about once a week on either a, a sprinkle of uh, yeast or a couple of grains of rice which after a couple of days will grow mold on it and they will eat the mold and be quite happy chomping away there and breeding. They do take that month, that first month when you pour like a, a few in like I poured before uh, to get going but really once you've got the first month over with you should have another stack of springtails ready for the week after and the week after and the week after and so on and so forth forever and all the time keeping your main springtail colony this is not mine but this is one of them uh, always active and full of uh, springtails and that's about it really if you did find this video useful then please give it a thumbs up maybe subscribe and uh, don't forget to stick a little bell down there because I upload quite regularly thanks for that see ya